almost 2 p.m. in the afternoon, but today is very much a self well being, self care day. I'm going on holiday from tomorrow, so I booked an extra day of annual leave today just to wind down and actually get myself in the zone to go on holiday. I still have like a bunch of stuff to do before I go. Um, so I just wanted to give myself that extra day. So that is today. We have a wonderful coffee. These are the coffee beans that I've used for my coffee today. These coffees, I feel like a bit of a treat when I make them because I just usually just have like plain Starbucks ground coffee, um, which is great and it's lovely, but these coffee beans are just elite. For me, clearing my mind and my headspace is the first step whenever I'm wanting to relax and really look after myself after a stressful period. So I'm going to sit with my coffee, read some more of my book. I'm also gonna do some journaling because that's something I haven't done in quite a while and I do notice when I don't do it. If I carry weight around with me in one way or another, um, I always notice that it comes out in ways that maybe I'm not so proud of and the main way that I stop that from happening is journaling, writing down how I'm feeling, generally even just talking to someone about how I'm doing. So I'm going to do some journaling early this afternoon and just get my thoughts out there. Living presently is something that I've always, always struggled with. Looking so far into the future all the time um, often makes me forget that actually looking after present me is just as important, if not more important. So yeah, I'm gonna be present, write everything down that's clouding my mind and get going for today. We are having a productive, self-well-being day um, and not in like the YouTube, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do this, do that, because actually that's really not what I need right now. I need like rest, I need relaxation. I also really need some time outside, so I'm gonna go out later. Um, but I'm not gonna do those like classic, productive, looking after myself, like self-care vlog where you just go get your nails done. Um, I get that that helps some people, but for me, sometimes self-care looks a lot more chilled, a lot more relaxed and not necessarily as like YouTube, social media, posting everything friendly. Also, my hair's still really short, but it's at a really awkward length now that it just goes like this in plaits. So we're just accepting it, we're vibing with it. Um, let's journal. <laughs> When I journal, I always start with a brain dump, essentially just blurting out every feeling or thought I have in that moment until I'm left with nothing to say or write on my page. Sometimes I will time these for five or 10 minutes, but today I just let the words flow out. This section of my journaling routine, if you will, <laughs> is not here to be prompted by questions or to necessarily be positive or negative. It's a free space for me to express my emotions, whatever they are at that time. I am someone who feels a lot of things in life very strongly. Writing these anxieties down gives me time to rationalize these in a different light than I do maybe at other times. This often means that when someone asks how I'm doing or questions about my well-being, I don't feel so on the spot if I'm stressed or overwhelmed. I'm happy to be honest and say that because I've accepted it and taken in those emotions in my time already. I then usually move on to journaling prompts that will lift me up. Positive, future thinking, or even sometimes reflection focused prompts. The prompts that I answered today were, what do I want to accomplish today? What can I learn from yesterday? What can I do today to look after my mental and physical well-being? And what's a small easy win today? Speaking of looking after myself, I also want to make sure that I'm doing my best to look after the planet around me. And this is where today's sponsor, Ren, comes in. Ren is a website that makes it easy to calculate and offset your carbon footprint. And their mission is to make it possible for everyone to make a difference in the climate crisis. They've already raised over $4 million for various projects and they're looking for as many people as possible to be a part of the solution. By answering some questions about your lifestyle, you can easily find out what your carbon footprint is and how you can work to reduce it. For example, this could be travel, it could be how you commute to work, how you commute to see your friends and family. 
With REN, you can also sign up to make a monthly contribution to offset your carbon footprint. And through doing this, you'll receive monthly updates from the projects you support. This could be clean cooking fuel, tree planting, or rainforest protection. You can offset your carbon footprint with REN by clicking the link below to find out more. And if you're within the first 100 people to sign up, you'll get an extra 10 trees planted in your name. Okay, I have journaled and I feel a bit better now. Um, I feel like I've just got like a lot of weight off of my shoulders that has just been there this entire week. It's just been such a busy week and honestly I just haven't had, um, I haven't given myself the time to, to really just actually be present with my emotions. I've just kind of one thing onto the next this entire week um, and it hasn't been good for me. But here, here now, I've journaled, um, you'll have seen some of my prompts but I've written down everything that I've been feeling recently and just also some like kind of not manifesting that's not the right word um just like goal setting kind of questions too because I I do find that I turn to a journal in like times of negativity or maybe times that like I would rather just like turn to it and have the ability to turn to it whenever and have such a mixture within my journal where I've got like really exciting things in there but I've also got like times where I it is like an emotional dump um I just don't really want it to be also negative so I just like poured out my emotions to begin with and then did some like goal setting prompts um but anyway about to finish my coffee my boyfriend and I are actually going to go into Central. This is one of our last weekends in London because we're moving out of our flat. Um, I'll talk about it more maybe over on my podcast, but um, yeah, it's been an experience living here. <laughs> so now my boyfriend and I are about to head out to Central area. Um, I really want to look in some bookshops. My boyfriend found some, like a road where there's like loads of bookshops. So I'm going to go and have a look. Bookshops bring me so much energy and I really, really enjoy going to them and just walking around and seeing what new books I can buy. Um, and I'm actually filming a video at the moment where you choose the books I read. It will be up this Sunday. Um, you're watching this on Wednesday. This The video will be up on Sunday. I'm really excited for you to see it. Um, but I'm like doing it over a period of time. It was initially going to be like me trying to read three books in a week and then I realised I work like 40, 50 hours a week, more than that actually. Um, so yeah, it didn't quite happen to be a week so I'm extending it to like two weeks. Um, I'm currently reading this book, A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it's like going to be one of my like new faves. It's very, very long though. <laughs> so I'm like struggling with a little bit of motivation to read it. Maybe if I see a book that I really want to read, um, I'm going to buy one when I'm out. We're also going to get food while we're out. We're going to go to Wing Wings. I've never been and apparently it's really good. So we're going to go there. Right. Let's go. <laughs> going into central, venturing into the city. Um, we actually walked all the way there. Um, earlier, it was actually it was such a nice walk. We didn't necessarily mean to walk the entire way, but um, it's really nice at Christmas. And today's actually Black Friday. So um, it was very, very busy on like Oxford Street. Um, we got some food at a place called Wing Wing. Um, it's somewhere that my boyfriend has been for lunch before um, and somewhere that I've been really wanting to try. And I've heard great things about, and it was amazing. We also went into a few bookshops um, and I picked up some more books. I'm gonna do my first like what I read this month kind of video soon at the beginning of December, which I'm really excited for and I think it will be really nice to 
um, start that as a little series on this channel. Anyway, I thought I would show you the books that I picked up. So firstly, we went to this small bookshop. Um, it was a little bit of a weird shop, uh, very, very niche. However, I went over to like the self-help section anyway, like self-help psychology section. Um, and I picked up this book, which is Matthew Walker, Why We Sleep. I've been really wanting to dive into this and read this. Um, it's not a hugely long book. And then I tripped and fell into Waterstones. I saved my points up with Waterstones. So I actually already had £10 to spend. So I was going in and thinking, oh, I'll just buy like one book that's £10, whatever. Um, but I actually found two that I have been really wanting to read. So the first is Sunset by Jessie Cave. Um, this is a book that I haven't really seen a lot of people read, but I saw somebody on TikTok show this book. First off, cover is beautiful as always. It's about two sisters, um, they go on holiday together as they do every year, um, but something goes wrong with the holiday, said holiday, in this book. Whenever I do buy a book, I look at the reviews on Goodreads because I trust my fellow good readers. And this book is 4.2 stars. And then the final book that I picked up is this book, The Book of Form and Emptiness by Ruth Ozek. I've just been wanting to read this for such a long time and I haven't picked it up because of how chunky this book is um but i looked again on goodreads i also looked at the people around me who were picking this up it's about four or five people picked this up in the space of like a minute so i feel like it's it's obviously one that people um have heard a lot about or have been recommended it has just gone past 7 p.m and i am actually going to go and watch the football with my boyfriend um neither of us are really hugely into football but england are playing today so we figured we should watch. I will catch up with you in a bit. Bye.